Hey guys, it's 50 Hz bringing you some head to head seasons gameplay, but this video isn't about the gameplay. It's a dual com. We got a guest commentator in the building tonight. He can introduce himself. All right, guys, it's your boy Alex7916 here, and today I'm with my boy Huz. Dual commentary, so excited to do this. Let's get started. I hope you are excited, otherwise, I am going to be disappointed. I've got a boner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Okay, uh, maybe not literally. <laughs> Calm down, lads. Calm down. Oh, right, let's change the topic over here. All right, Alex seven nine one six. Yo, how do you get that name? Oh, okay. Um, I knew this was coming. That's what she said. Um, pretty much seventy nine is my lucky number. Uh, seven was the first times table I ever learnt, which is pretty random. And nine, uh, for my favourite player of all time, Alan Shearer. And seven plus nine is sixteen, so there we have seven nine one six. Wow, wow, so yeah, got a lot of got a lot of history regarding your name. That's I, quite impressive. Oh, I know, yeah, but um, yeah, glad I got through that pretty quickly because it's gonna take a while. <laughs> there you go, lads. You learn something new every single day. Yep. Now regarding your dual com history, mm -hmm. don't know why I put this topic in, but yeah, do you do many dual coms? Because I can't. Remember you doing any dual comms with anyone else? Um, Not that I know of anyway. I've actually uh, done one with uh, Harrison101. Uh, you might know him, he's a new Machinima director. Congrats on his new contract. And uh, we actually went to high school together and we didn't know each other in school. But, you know, I ended up seeing him like online and I was like, wait, I swear I went to school with you. <laughs> and um, yeah, we uh, did dual commentary about two, three months ago back on FIFA 12. And um, that's about it, really. Well, that's a very romantic story right there. That's... Mate, you held hands and everything. Romeo and Juliet have got nothing <laughs> on YouTube, that's for sure. <laughs> Went to school together, ending up doing YouTube videos together. Wow. Hey, tell me about it. What... That's brilliant. Have you done many dual comms? Um, I haven't done many recently. I did do one with Nas1, if you've heard of him. He's a Machinima Respawn director, Call of Duty guy. Huh? It's pretty crazy how with um, dual commentaries, you can basically speak to people who you'd never probably communicate with. Mm -hmm. This guy is from like New York. I'm from the UK. He's like married with a kid, and I'm talking with him about Call of Duty. It's pretty crazy how YouTube works. Yeah. And yeah, not really done many dual comms. Although back in the day, a lot of people did used to do a lot of dual comms to obviously help grow their channels, yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah. But I think just doing a dual com isn't gonna help that like, someone else's channel a lot. The best way to now like, grow a channel is like networking with quite a few people, liking each other's videos. Yeah. Just giving mini shout outs on a regular basis just so each other's audience are aware of each other, etc. No, definitely, man. It's so it's such a good way like to, you know, get to know the other commentators in like your community. Mm hmm Yeah, that's why I think it's, you know, pretty good that we're collaborating right here right now. Yeah, and we're like we're both are machine most sports directors. Definitely go check out Alex's not video, but his channel. He uploads a lot of good Ultimate Team channel videos. Sorry, what am I talking about? I'm getting too excited speaking <laughs> to this director. I can't even speak. But yeah, you do upload very good gameplays, and you're probably one of my favorite FIFA directors. I'm not just saying that because you're right here right now. But you do upload some good gameplays, and you're on the PS3. I know, man. Not, not many That's... people play that anymore. It's kind of surprising. Yeah. Most of the YouTubers on the Xbox, unfortunately, on the dark side. But no, like we're like you know kind of hidden secrecy these days no one else plays it <laughs> we are in the minority but we're gonna hold it down for right. sony hopefully we'll get some sponsorship right there yeah man. but yeah talk about your pack look because you got a brilliant <laughs> player recently i got company and i nearly like jizzed over him so who did you get in your packs well um for those of you guys who don't know me um it's pretty infamous my first episode on fifa 12 i got a wayne rooney in my opening pack on ultimate team and you know that wow. kick-started my series you know i got some like 150,000 views on my first episode and it just went on from there but this year FIFA 13 I got myself a motherfucking chavy so wow. two 90 rated players in a year it is oh That's man just crazy how much did he sell for me about it I don't know I think it was 150,000 but um, whoa 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 yeah I know I know but you know I've obviously got money making uh talents as well so I've merchanted quite a bit I'm on about 400,000 coins at the moment pretty decent wow I thought I was do I thought I was doing good on 120k. <laughs> now you're saying that you're just making me look bad now. I'm, Seriously. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on to a random topic now. How would you survive, Alex, in a prison? Oof, in a prison. All right. Um. Well, because I'm in West London and Feltham isn't very far, to be honest. Um. Hopefully, I might know some of the people in there. 
and uh, you know, people... hopefully you don't more like. <laughs> <laughs> but um, how much supplies I'm putting? All right, pretty much I would buy lots of shower gel because I don't want to be using soap. <laughs> I would um, you know, never accept chocolates from the guys because apparently if you take something from them, you then owe them, which probably involves brain. And um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Just you know, just be quiet. You know, lay low. Try and wait out your sentence. The fact I know so much about this is just probably strange, but... Yeah, I'm kind of getting worried who I'm doing a deal commentary <laughs> with right now. Nah, mate, it's my favourite <laughs> film. Could be, could be Alex, the local drug dealer. Who do I... <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> my favourite film is Shawshank Redemption, you know, so I'm inspired. <laughs> but, um, how would you survive in prison without, you know... Um... If you do want to know, you got to go check out my dude, come on, Alex's channel, nice little plug <laughs> right over here, annotation on the screen. I see how you did that. But um, another interesting fact about you is you're a Newcastle fan. How did that come around? Ooh, um, well, pretty much my family are from up north. My family are from Stanley, which is uh, just outside Newcastle. I doubt right. any of you guys would know that place, but um, pretty much my granddad uh, supports Newcastle and I've just, you know, grown to love him as he has... And I've stayed loyal, you know. Obviously, it's very painful watching us get um, relegated by Aston Villa and fucking Damien Duff. But um, <laughs> we're on the up, we're on the up these days. So yeah, definitely. I think Newcastle are a right. pretty strong outfit this year. Um, kind of disappointing against United though. Went down. I think it was three 0 Was it? Yeah, it's three 0 man. I was disappointed. I expected more from Denver Barn Co. But we've got a very strong team, Newcastle and Alan Pardew. What do you think about Alan Pardew? No, I'm so like you know impressed by him. I remember when he came, I was just I felt like crying honestly because we sacked the student, <laughs> and uh, he's just done so well for himself, and I'm I'm really proud of him genuinely. Do you know he recently signed like a 15 year contract with something it, crazy like that? Correct, yeah, like four of our um, you know coaching staff, managers, assistant, we all signed four year no eight year contracts. Sorry. So yeah. here for the long term, I guess. That's pretty rare for like a modern day manager to get rewarded with a contract of that length. And, uh, who would you say is our best player, in your opinion? Best player? Um, I, and I would say Kabai, but he's been kind of off the boil this season. But I would say Demba Bar. I wouldn't like to play up it's against like, him. Yeah. What about in FIFA? Obertan all day. No, I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> um, in FIFA, I've got Kabai my ultimate team, so I'm going to have to say him. He's got some good long shots, Never good passing. Mate, them five-star skills. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think we should wrap up this video right about now. Yeah, boy. Make sure you guys leave a rating. If Go check out his videos. Great FIFA content. Any last words before you get killed? Um, nothing specific to say, but uh, hopefully you've been entertained for the last couple of minutes. Uh over some really nice gameplay by Huzz and uh, hopefully you can come and check me out on my personal channel. Alright guys, we'll catch you next time. Latest. Alright, next one guys. Peace.